Hey guys, SNY Tech ST here back with another video. So in this video, we're doing all the week 5 challenges of the Fortnite season 4. So without any further ado, let's get right into the video. So guys, these are all the week 5 challenges. And the first challenge we're going to be doing is to collect floating rings at the Coral Castle. I'm going to be showing you every single floating ring that you need to collect in the Coral Castle. These are the leaked challenges. So you might not be seeing the floating rings in the video, but I'll be showing you a photo clearly where exactly it's going to be so this is the first floating ring as you come to the middle of the map exactly where i've marked as you come here it's going to be here and you can see in the picture right there this is exactly where the, your first floating ring would be so go ahead and collect your first floating ring and in the map that's exactly where it's going to be now the second floating ring is right next to it right over here now from here as you turn to the right you will see this small area and on top of that is where exactly your second floating ring is. Now after you come here, you're gonna find your second floating ring right here floating above. As you can see in the photo, it's exactly where it's going to be. Now, once you're done with that two floating rings, the next floating ring is also right next to that over here. So as you turn to the left hand side, you'll find the floating ring over here not exactly where i've marked it's actually over here all these floating rings are on top it's not inside so it's only going to be floating on top of these small buildings now we'll have to build across and go about this and you'll find your third floating ring right on top floating right over here as you can see in the photo so that's exactly where your third floating ring is now the last floating ring is quite far and it's right over there so it's also about this small tower and as you come here you're gonna find your last final floating ring right here and this is exactly where it's going to be so you'll be done with all those floating rings in the coral castle moving on to the next challenge for the next challenge we're going to be dancing with the star robots make sure your effects and post processing are on so that you know where the stock robots are stock robots are in the quinjet patrol sites and they have this blue smoke if you switch on FX and post processing, you can see the blue smoke coming. So I'm gonna grab a chest, I'm gonna grab some guns and there we go. We have an air, one assault rifle is more than enough and also some shield potions. And I do need some materials just in case. Now let's just shoot those stock robots. One, another one down. There you go, one more down. And with the last two of these and done. Yeah, once you're done with that go ahead and hack these stock robots make sure you hack those stock robots and do an emote next to it as you can see those stock robots are also dancing as you do an emote i'm going to show you this once again you just need to go near some stock robots and start doing this you'll have to have the stock robots hacked so this is exactly how we do this for this next challenge you need to destroy gorgers and these are the locations where the gorgers are one over there one next to the retail row and one below the lazy lake about the misty meadows right over here and the next one is to the top and left of the slopey swamp over there and one below the salty springs and one more to the left of the holy hedges right over there go to the any of these spots once you go to the any of the spots you'll find this gorger over here you need to destroy the gorgers and to easily destroy the gorgers make sure you destroy the gatherers and go ahead and pick them up as soon as possible and shoot with the gatherers shoot the gorgers with the gatherers they make a lot of damage to the gorgers uh, because the gatherers is the only way you can shoot the gorgers and if you use some uh, guns or something you can shoot very slowly and the damage can be very really less you can use these gatherers to shoot the gorgers and also if you use it like a charge shotgun it's going to do more damage but you're going to lose the gatherers you'll have to find another one so once you're done with that you can destroy gorgers just like that the next one is at the salty springs you need to jump through the flaming rings at salty springs in a vehicle as i told you guys before these are the league challenges so the flaming ring is not yet seen in the game but this is exactly what you need to do to complete this challenge if you do this you'll find this flaming ring that, that you need to just go through it now after you're done with this challenge the next challenge is at the slopey swamp you need to drive a car from slopey swamp to the catty corner in just four minutes 
One thing you need to note is that as soon as you get into a car in the Slopey Swamp, the time starts. You only have four minutes to drive from the Slopey Swamp to the Catty Corner and you should not get out of the car, which means that you need to have enough fuel to drive from Slopey Swamp to Catty Corner. You need to at least have 50% of fuel in the car. As soon as you get inside the car at the Slopey Swamp, follow this exact path that I'm going through and you will reach Catty Corner in less than four minutes, just like that. Now, as you reach Catty Corner, this challenge would successfully be done. Make sure you reach Catty Corner in four minutes. So these are all the challenges. The other challenges, the other easy challenges are finding chests at the Doom's Domain. These are all the locations of the chests at Doom's Domain. You need to search seven chests. Also, you need to do eliminations at the Dirty Dogs. You need to do three eliminations at the Dirty Dogs. Now, once you're done with that, the last challenge is to deal damage to opponents at the Authority. You need to deal 500 damage at the Authority. These are all the week 5 challenges, hope this video helped you guys. If this video did help you guys, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel, it really helps a lot and I'll see you in the next video.